Hello and welcome everyone to the Suppercast episode 267, I believe. I forgot what episode it was, but I believe it's 267. But uh, thank you for joining us for the Transparent Action Figure Podcast show for adults. And uh, we are going to be taking a look at several Transformers, uh, some Star Wars stuff, a few NECA things. thought I muted that. Uh, we've also got a uh, collection spotlight from Alpha Prime 88, so we're going to be taking a a look at that. If you guys are interested in ever having your collection spotlighted on the show, then go ahead and take photos of your collection. However many, if it takes multiple emails, that's fine. Uh, but send them in an email to me at g1hexatron at gmail.com, and we'll take a look at them at a upcoming show. Also, we got figure of the week. And uh, we also have, instead of Mount Rushmore, we're going to do something a little bit different. Basically, we are building ourselves as our own uh I don't want to say superhero, but we get basically one superpower, something that does not exist on Earth. So it's basically fictional, like flight or x-ray vision or something like that, stuff that doesn't exist. And then three abilities that actually do uh, exist in the world today, and we would implement those. So one superpower and three abilities. But uh, let's go ahead into introductions. Mike? You can find me everywhere as Angry Mike. You can find me on Facebook as Mega Must Mega Toy Fan. I'm Rick. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. And you can find me G1 Xtron on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1 Xtron. All right, so let's get into figure of the week. What you got, Mike? I actually got in the full wave, but the best figure I got, I thought, was the uh, Destro from the uh, G.I. Joe uh, classification. Classic Blair. series, yeah. I know. I was trying to, yeah. <laughs> so there yeah. you go. Nice. He's got that uh, he's, shiny head. Yeah, he's actually the only one I've opened up. Um, what? I haven't opened the rest of them up yet, but I really enjoyed him. Uh, he was actually displayed really good, kind of like how uh, Rick had done his uh, without falling over. So I was surprised it stood up pretty well on its own. So the series they looks really good. Yeah, the series looks really good, so uh, hopefully y'all can jump on that if you find it in stores. So Excellent. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, I'm changing him now. Uh, the retro, uh, what I picked up this this week was actually not Transformers, not Joe, nothing like that. It was let me get in there. Uh, go bot. So I was able to pick up a really, really minty uh, Psycho, G1 Psycho, mm. in very good shape, which which finding him where he doesn't wobble is, and he has his engine. Um, I didn't do as well with Leader One. Um, if anyone has ever had this figure, for some reason, the pins on the wings, mm -hmm. see, they they yeah. fall down. Yeah, oh, they're really classic. tough. Yeah, they're really tough. Um, and this one does well. This one doesn't. But when you look at the uh, the paint on him, he looks really good. So two two uh, vintage, you know, the smaller ones. They, they don't go for a whole lot of money, but finding them in just the right condition, kind of tough. So if you can find them, I I would definitely suggest picking them up. Um, I know it's not a transformer, but GoBots need some loving too. I'll let you do all the GoBot loving here. <laughs> I like them. I, I had those two. I, I think I only had two of them. I think those were the two that I had when I was a kid, but I played with them a decent amount. The recolors yeah. in those are even just as hard to find as these. I mean, it's ridiculous, especially yeah. in good shape. The only time I had any GoBots is whenever, like, uh, I'd have a birthday and, you know, like, like kids, parents, they're like, yeah, he's, he's <laughs> right. in the transformers. It's a transformer birthday. And like, you'd end up getting like Zybots and go bots. And like, because the parents <laughs> were like, well, no, man, like these transformers are a lot cheaper. Like we'll get them that. <laughs> right. Know? Well, I mean, yeah. Rick, you know, as well as I do, I mean, for the price point of these was the same as the yeah. mini, mini bots. And yeah. just look how much more die cast and everything you got from these. They were just true. They were better toys. They were. Yeah. Especially for the money. Well, so after being on like G.I. Joe kick for like maybe three weeks straight, um, I went back to uh, 
something weird from the nineties. I'm into uh, this last week spawn. And um, the, I think it was the Kickstarter. We talked about it on this show. Then I went and looked into it. Um, and then at the same time I had uh, two guys telling me to play Mortal Kombat 11 and I had yet to do it and I have extra time. Um, so I picked up Mortal Kombat 11, downloaded like every character, you know, started playing with Spawn. So I've been into that this week. I, I actually ordered a few older Spawn figures that I didn't have. Um, stuff I missed because I had gotten out of it. And the stuff I missed was much better than the stuff that I had gotten at the beginning of the Spawn stuff. I hadn't even seen some of the stuff that they've done. So I've been in a 90s kick all week. Cool. All right. Well, I actually got a, a ton of stuff for this time, so I might actually have to use some of this for the next show. But uh, on this one, I'm going to say this uh, NECA slash here uh, from the Turtles in Time game. There, he's not glaring. Uh, just yeah. because I love Slash. So, and I know I've got to be real fragile with him because it is made by NECA. But uh, as far as the paint and the, the deco goes, man, he looks awesome. And just a honorable mention, I want to give a shout out to, uh, you know, one of the people that watched the Cybercast on here. Uh, last show, he was talking about, like, hooking me up with a Metroplex because, as you guys know, like, I've always been like, man, I passed on that $50 Metroplex at uh, Sam's Club and just every single chance i got i always passed on metroplex I never picked them up because i wanted kind of a more g1 style but uh randy books he actually uh hooked me up with a uh, metroplex so nice and a re really good deal too so i appreciate that so i wanted to give him a shout out that that was definitely one of those ones no one saw coming as far as the increase in secondary value oh yeah uh, let's see. Dalton says figure of the week for him is Decepticon Mirage from the Netflix uh, subline. And Legionardo, uh, he says, I got Masterpiece Cheetor, uh, Siege Springer, and Machine Robo, Steam Robo. Loco. Yeah. I don't know what that is. but The ma ma Machine Robo is, they, they did uh, update, updated versions of, I guess you would call it GoBots, but they're actually Machine Robo in Japan. So oh, okay, okay. that's that's what that is. I mean, they actually did. They did Psy Kill. They did Leader One. Oh, that okay. one, I, I know what that you're one is about. of the uh, train, which was oh my gosh, Loco. Yeah, that's that's what, what that was his name yeah. in uh, yeah. U.S. Right, Loco. Yeah, yeah he's he put in here Loco. So. Yeah, there you go. That, I, that's I, the other I, thing. Japan and, and U.S. They they change the names, so it's it's kind of hard to. Hey, let's see. K-Bar's in here as well. What's up? He says, my figure of the week is a custom Animorph that Joe sent me for free. Well, that was real nice. I don't know who Joe is, but that was really nice. So, yeah. All right. So let's get into uh, putting together your power list. You can, you know, basically you got one superpower. You get three Earth known abilities. Um, who, who wants to go first or, or y'all want me to go first? You go first. All right. So my superpower is going to be teleport. I can teleport anywhere. Uh, all my abilities kind of go together because like it, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know. I had like a single minded thinking on this and I was like, how can I accomplish my goal? And so the, uh, second one is. Our, my first ability is going to be bilingual. I can speak any language. I know I know all the languages. <laughs> Interesting. All right. My uh, second ability is I'm smart like Bruce Wayne. So like I can create tech <laughs> stuff and stuff like that. So you know, just being being smart, you know, or like Bill Gates or something where you know I've got a, a way so I can make money for myself you know yeah, but you're thinking on the back end if nothing else you can make that app that'll make you millions so i mean absolutely yeah so i've got my money situated <laughs> i can talk any language i can teleport to any place so i can teleport to japan i can speak japanese i can teleport to korea i can speak korean fluently so i'm good there and god this last one do i want to wrap it up we're so much alike. If you didn't uh, like the Cowboys and I didn't like the Steelers, I think we were brothers. Dude, uh, I, I, I was going <laughs> to say, tell if people are lying to me. Uh, but instead, 
I'm going to go with like, I'm one of those people to where I can just put in like very little workout and then just get, you know, in good, great shape. So like, I, buff. Baseball, yeah, like I'm not talking about Arnold buff, but I'm like, I could get in really good shape, but I'm not having to go to the gym for like two hours every day. Like I'm just do like five minutes of push ups and yo, know, I'm good, you know? So that's going to be my, basically uh, what my, my idea was is, uh, you know, I, I see some girl on Japan mm. and stuff and I'm like, Hey, you know, uh, Basically, she'd be like, oh, you know, if you only lived here, and then, like, I'd teleport, hey, Kadichiwa, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. So, so 70% of your abilities are to pick up chicks. Is that what you're trying to say? Asian, Asian <laughs> chicks. <laughs> I'm just trying to, you know, scope this out. That's, no, that's no 100%, 100% of my abilities are focused around okay. this. <laughs> I thought there was some, you know, giving world goodness and all this and other, but I, I, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've, got, I've got the money to do it, you know. Uh, oh, so very you, so you never said these abilities for a good purpose or a specific purpose. So I get that. I got. It. Let's see. Uh, what's right, going Mike. on, Ready? Yeah, what you got, Mike? No, where I go, I'm still trying to figure this out. What? Yeah. All right. Mine, mine's super easy. Super. Get it? Super. So um, I was thinking about it. I mean, if anyone doesn't know me, I my favorite superhero is Superman. I absolutely love Superman for everything. Everything. He stands for this, that, and the other. So um, my, if I had to limit it to just one super ability, it would be invulnerability. That would be my first. Um, and then when you go down, uh, the abilities would be, uh, extra strength because we can't do super, but you know, just, just that of a above average, you know, human strength. Um, and then my, my next one would be stamina followed by speed. Um, and just to let you know, as far as the ability to tell when people are lying, I do that every day. It's whenever people open their mouth. So that's not a big deal. That was a joke, guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. Yeah. Jeez, I mean, so, but yeah, um, kind of centered around Superman with with just one. If I had to, to pick one superpower he had, it was the invulnerability because you could do so much without you know not worrying about being hurt. So, so that's, are you trying to save the world or something with your stuff? Um, <laughs> yeah, mine would be more towards a higher goal than picking up chicks. Um, that's it. It's where I am in my life. It's what I feel. Yeah, that's what I would do. It would be trying in better, better society. All right, what, Rick, what, what you got? You said yep. ours is probably right. a lot of life. Yeah. It's a little. Well, we start out the same. So my my power would be teleportation. Um, I'm a huge fan of Nightcrawler. I have been since I was in uh, fourth grade. So, um, but my abilities kind of change up a little bit. So also superior intellect, but with an emphasis in mechanics, uh, engineering and physics. So I could be like a Tony Stark if I needed to be right. Or build weapons. Second ability trained assassin, um, covers that covers a lot of martial arts and weapons and all those things. I, I kind of want to be a hired gun. Like I want to be able to make my money not get too connected, get back out with a load of cash and do what I want. Like Deathstroke. Um, but also, yeah, sort of. Deathstroke, and my last, teleport. <laughs> exactly. My last one would be, um, I'm a master at persuasion, but like the best car dealer you ever met, you know? Like as far as you can go with persuasion, that's me. And that would work, you know, as well. So I like the idea of being an assassin, though. All right. So, so you not a good guy. I'm not a good I wouldn't so be a good guy. You know, I mean, you know, <laughs> Hex is all talking about this to pick up chicks. I'm trying to better the human uh the you know my society in this. You just want to kill people. The best I mean, way to kill people. That's what you just said. The people that I the people that I think should be taken out. At, at the, There's no context no doesn't court matter there. It's no still law. killing people. Yes. All right. Yes, no sir. judge. Okay. <laughs> 
And then he goes and after parties with me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's got that bread. He can spread it around. We can go anywhere we want. <laughs> anywhere we want. Uh, plus, I love to travel, but I hate flying. So, yeah, it helps. All right, Mike, you're up. All right. So, my superpower thing, Majigger, whatever, would be kind of like hair. The, uh, the Jedi mind trick. So, I would be the type of person to, you know, you know, persuade you or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I'm still having a hard time with these super other powers, but one of them would be uh, toxic gas, um, all natural. So just the ability to just fart whenever you want to. Yeah, but the Which, thing is, if I mean, you get in an elevator with him, he's already got that ability. I do. <laughs> I know you do. So, but... He knows I do. I just... um, uh, so How could you waste that? That's kind of like that's kind of, I mean, I, that's kind of where I'm at. It's just I'm a farter. I, mean, be, yeah. I just, I just farted a lot. I mean, I mean, there'd be like a. What's, what's but he wants to increase the number. <laughs> the number of levels. He, he wants, gas. He wants <laughs> his ammo clip to go from like five to a hundred. You know? Basically, what it is, <laughs> the paint actually does peel from the walls. So All I right. get that. All right. All right. Um, I want to be a. Master of the uh, booger flipper. You sound an awful lot like Toad. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I did not think about that. I mean, seriously, right? Yeah, you are. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. All right. And keep then, going. Um, honestly, that's, that's all I got to. As far as I got, thank you. Can't believe you can't be self-generate hair. I mean. Or or, 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 or pin, uh, your or ability toes. appendages. Yeah. Like, you just all Ooh, of a sudden. I can lose it. I can lose it. Yeah. yeah. I've done that already. So, yeah, I can lose appendages. <laughs> no, uh, you can grow them back. <laughs> How about regeneration? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, oh, I oh, wow. lose, lose toes. I've already got that ability down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Give me some cake. I got this taken care of. <laughs> 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 all right let me go through some of the the comments here uh we got kurt fury jo joining us as well it says uh sub guys and correct uh congrats to the hex finally getting his metroplex oh, i appreciate it man and cameron uh he's hoping he gets his loot uh pretty soon he, uh, i guess he hasn't gotten his chosen prime loot since like october november uh, Randy Books, hey, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, showed off the Metroplex earlier. Appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see. Kurt Fury picked up the Legends New Age Megatron. And uh, Dalton said that his would be shape-shifting with increased stamina, metabolism, and strength. Yeah. And But Cameron also says, I think the fact that each of your – you have different goals for your powers makes it better than if you all wanted the same thing, so – there you go. Yeah. Actually, your expert. What's yeah. that, man? Yeah. So, if you guys didn't catch that, uh, whatever the video is over, you can go watch it. Yeah, you know, the very beginning. Uh, basically, what it was is like one type of superhero power, and then you had three Earth known abilities, and yeah, you know, we all had went a different direction in it. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into screen share here. And we actually have a collection spotlight. So this is going to be Alfred Prime 88's collection. Uh, so he says, uh, been meaning to send this collection picks in for a while. This says, this is about a fourth of my collection as I don't have space to display it all at the moment, but he will next year. Uh, he said he's a massive fan of the show and really enjoys the banter between us all. And he also does fan art on his Instagram page. So if you guys want to check that out, it's alpha underscore prime 88. And he does have a YouTube channel. If you guys want to go over there and sub to him, it's Alpha Prime 88, all one word. So, and just checking out his. Oh, he's got stickers all over his. I haven't, I still haven't put stickers on my Trepticon or Predaking. Yep. Got some, some similar shelves that I've got. What is the uh, the yellow canister? 
right there. That's where they had the bodies. <laughs> I didn't mean at your house. I didn't uh, know if that was some third party or something I didn't know about. It looks like it's some type of exclusive thing that would maybe. It's kind of cool looking, is what I was thinking. Looks good though. You always need a movie shelf, animated movie shelf. So you guys would know what was with the uh, the red uh, stormtrooper. It looked like a pen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What is I that? Didn't get, I didn't get one of those. It says only in what cinemas? Was that an yeah. exclusive? Was, I mean, mine that didn't didn't hand it out. But maybe, kind of maybe opening or something like that. Maybe their, their cinema. And yeah. cinema. It depend. It's kind of like on Avengers in game. They gave you a, or not in game. It was the other one. Uh, Infinity where they gave you a special coins if you did like the uh, some kind of special package like the first night and you got like and they've done that for pins and other movies as well. So that's probably what that was. Yeah, I'm not big into statues, but I am totally digging that. Venom all the way in the back, the half rock, half venom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm taking that. That looks that is sweet. Uh, real quick, uh, pursued miss. What's up, man? Uh, and Cambridge says the yellow canister is the quintesson journal from the episode of the same title. Bag cube included it with their brawn and outback. Ah, there you go. That's 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 go. pretty slick. I like that. Hey, what's up, Jackson? Uh, sorry, little Jackson Savage. Dude, I, I, I love Carnage and Venom. I, 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 I have to say it. I, I was more of a Venom than Carnage guy. I don't know why. I, I just I always liked Venom better than Carnage, but it was a good story arc. Um, these are uh, the Takara versions, I believe. Aren't they? I, I, haven't, I haven't had mine on the shelf for a while, so it's a little hard for me to tell. Is that Cerebus? That looks good. Well, the Autobot twins, those are the Takara version. The Cere sure. Cerebros, did, that didn't come with a sword, right? That was a third-party sword? Or was that a uh, was that for the uh, Japanese one? No, if it, came with, uh, if it came with the big sword, then it has a little sword with it. Yeah, that's the Takara. That's one I have, too. Okay. I guess I have the Hasbro one. It didn't have that. That's yeah, Hasbro didn't come with Takara, <laughs> and um, San Diego came with the sword. And he also says, I'm a massive Dinobot fan. Oh, well, that's that's all right, man. Not everybody's perfect. You know, someone else might, you know, fight you for that. But yeah, Dalton says it's the uh, Takara Fort Max, so. Okay. Oh, the, what, aren't these the little third party ones? There's a lot of third party in here, but yeah, that was um, when Those they did uh, Twin ones? Twist and uh, yeah. They're at both ends. Um, I don't yeah. remember what the other one was. What's the gray one next to him? Eva, uh, no. Um, Where I forgot. It's been so long. I forgot who made these little things. Um, could I can't remember. I have them. them. I can't remember. Or is that a different? One I'm thinking of. What, what? Are you talking about the people that made them? What are you talking? Yeah, about? yeah. The, the, these guys who who made them. Was it Agier? You talked about the old, yeah, that, the old that was a long party. party. Yeah, is it Agier? Yeah, because I, I was like, whatever the company is, I, I was like, I, I can't. It might be that. I don't think that, that they made right. anything in a long time. So. Fans Project Assaulter. Well, oh, the, the little guy. Was, yeah, the little guy. I okay. So. I thought this Camera was six. the Fans Project. Yeah, Assaulter. Yeah, no, it, it was is. The, uh, was that Broadside? Yeah, their version. Yeah. Mecca, Mecca ideas is what Cameron said. It. So this is a Mecca. That ideas. sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right. You haven't heard well, from them in a while. Years ago. I mean, that's been. I mean, way, way back. I still have them up. I believe. Guy, you know what? It, it would be uh, fun to do on one episode is go back and just like, like the the third party companies that we thought were like kind of high up like eye gear mecha ideas like way back in the day that like aren't even around anymore yeah i can barely yeah, even remember some of them i mean it, it's it been be so long to not to mention some switch places started their own companies and whatnot so that'd be a little tough but i mean it could be done uh what is it the which 
Zeta toys that changed their name like three different times or something like that. They, I know I can't give up with the third party stuff, but I mean, some of the guys, I, I know there was one guy that worked for one company that quit, made his own company, popped it up. And I mean, so that, that started another company and blah, 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 blah. I like seeing that pretender in there. Did you see that? Oh, right here. I love, I love pretenders. I know a lot of people don't, but I really love. The oh, I, I dug, I dug the pretenders. I actually like him. And you got the action master down here. Oh, so he's not saying that he loves Dinobot. He's saying he loves Dinobots. That's yeah. what it looks like. Because yeah. I mean, he's got Slag Sludge. Uh, yeah, the, 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 oh, yeah, man, Dinobots, Dinobots are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Animated Dinobot or animated Grimlock. I mean, yeah, I got um, some G two. There's a there's three different uh, Grimlock G twos, and I think two different Slag <laughs> G twos, and just one Snarl G two. No, there's three of each. You mean color wise? Color wise, are you? Yeah, there's three different ones. There's the yeah. the all gray, all silver. Then there's the first colors, and this, then there's the this has colors. got a, a light blue, this dark yeah, blue, I, and then a silver. Oh, this has got a red and a green. Right, right, right here. Turquoise. Yeah, that's the turquoise one. They did turquoise, blue, and then they did silver with. Um, Snarl and Slag, the blue, or I'm sorry, the uh, red and the green were reversed. And then they did uh, gray for those also. So there was three for each. Okay. Kind of hard to find. And, and for some reason, the reverse colors of the other two are harder to find, just like the uh, the turquoise, whoop, the turquoise uh, Grimlock. Oh, is this what this guy looks like? I've never even put him together. So I just Which one is that one? Is that the... Because there was two different that third parties that did that. No, that's Hasbro. Yeah, it looks like that? Hasbro. I can't. It's are hard you, to are tell. you sure? Are you sure the Grimlock is Hasbro as well? I can't tell. I, I can't yeah. tell. From the picture. I, I never put them together yeah. like that. So. I have mine. I have mine together, but I, it looks Wait, taller. You know, but you know what I'm talking about? There was two different third party companies that were doing a uh, Dinobot care. combiner, also. Yeah. So, I mean, there's just so much out there. And there's some add-on kits. Is, uh, there's add-on kits too, so right. it's hard to unless I right. have it right in front of me, I can't tell anymore. Right. Okay. Dalton says it's with an upgrade kit. Uh, it, this yeah. is cool. This is the uh, basically master uh, my creations uh, Hexatron, but with, as Grimlock. Hmm. So that's that's different. I, I don't think I've seen that. And are these? Uh, was that? Uh... Is that fans toys or fans projects? Not Giga that did the not the biggest that, ones. I had that toys, one that's right? fans toys. That's, that's fans these toys. are fans that, toys, right? These are the big, big big they all are. Yeah. Because it, you've seen the uh what were they called? Giga Giga Power? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean they are huge. I mean I, I thought they were too big comparison to the other toys, is which why I didn't go with that. But I mean to each his own if you want your Dinobots big, you go with the, the Giga Power. Anyone find the Rebel Snow Troopers yet? Man, I haven't. No. In fact, I, I reached out to everybody on, on the show saying, hey, have you all seen them? I, <laughs> I got one of them online, but I'd like, I'm still waiting. BBTS, I'll get them one day. I know I have a few ordered through those guys. Um, I, think, I think I have two or three ordered for so, but how many do you say yeah. that I need? Like four or six? Or you could. Like that? It depends on what you want to do. Like if you want to go heavy, you can't because of the scarf and the goggles, the different parts that you can rearrange and put one on the hat or down on his you know face or put the scarf down, put the scarf up, and he's got two weapons. Technically, I've I saw someone make six different configurations, but I'm going to do four. Usually, I would do like two but i think for these because they're making that big snow speeder i think i'm gonna do four okay i'll probably do at least four because i always do by arm they, look, they look good like the sculpt and the faces and stuff they look really good it's just two different faces though right exactly awesome. yeah it's like yeah. it's like zartan he's got it in his backpack we're, we're gonna take a look at it a little bit later on here yeah yeah also had some like little world smallest yeah Warbur Cybertron, those were neat. 
you could make a hobby just out of doing Dinobots. I mean, technically, if you do all the third parties and all the different versions. Official. You could actually, you guys could do the same thing with cassettes. There's so many different cassettes. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone has a oh, little niche, you know, and all this, that, and the other. So I get that. But, I mean, my gosh, when, there's so much. When that, when that episode of the Dude, cartoon that's what introduced the Dinobots, I forget how, I'm, I can't remember how old I was when, it, when that came on, but. When, it, when they introduced the Dinobots, I went on a field trip uh, to Baltimore with my, you know, your middle school class or whatever. And um, my mom had given me money to get like, you know, food, whatever, when you're there. And I remember there was a hobby shop there and I walked in and they had the Dinobots and I'd never seen them on the shelf before. And I bought, um, they had Snarl and I think Slug or whatever. I bought, so your, uh, your lunch money went Snarl. to Dinobots, huh? Uh, every bit of my money, and I think I, I want to say I borrowed like a dollar fifty from my buddy. I was like, I, I was leaving with it no matter what. Yeah, loved the Dinobots as a kid. Dinobots were neat. I remember when they came out in the show, uh, when it popped yep. up because it, it, it every, as with every well, I'm gonna say with 99% of it, uh, except for the re initial release. The, the cartoon came out first, and then they showed the character, and then it was a little bit later, it would pop up with the uh the toy. And yeah. I remember seeing the Dinobots when they created them and, you know, and they, they did, and they were so much bigger and stronger. Yeah. And I was just like, I got to get those. They were, <laughs> they were all, especially yeah. um, the other one I remember was uh devastator because yep. I had to hunt down. It was one of them. It wasn't hook, but I had five. I went to the store, got all it, five. Did Omega come with stickers? Six. Cause I didn't have any stickers for my Omega. Um, I don't have stickers on mine. He didn't, didn't come with them? It, He did. It's probably toy. It's probably toy not. hacks. Okay. I was gonna say I might be just too it's lazy. Toy to hacks. Call, you know, <clears throat> a lot of <laughs> a lot of people do toy hacks. <laughs> yeah, but that's the other thing, uh, Rick. I mean, thinking about that stuff when it came out, and I remember, like, I remember, I remember distinctively getting um, uh, Destro. And okay. the first thing yeah. I did, I remember ripping that off the card. And I just thought it was so cool that his little gun fit in his backpack. I, I yeah. like these fans. I don't know why. This I thought that was cool. Cyclonus, and Galvatron. Yeah. I think the three of those look so good together. Uh, that's that's the best Galvatron out so far. That fans toys one. Sports saying he's a, he's backstage, even though he got yeah, kicked I've off. I've got Galvatron and Cyclonus upstairs. I love those too. Oh, he's he's, he's God, man! He's got I don't know. He said he's backstage, here. but he got kicked off once. Right. What what does backstage mean? I don't. I don't. You that can see it, but we can't. Wait. Like we can't see when someone's back there. You All can't. Right. All right. All right. Talk. <laughs> All right. God, man, that's a that's a lot. Eighty. Look at 80 that books. And he's got all of them. Wow. What are those? Are, are those of the G one comics? Are they the IDW? What? Are they uh, IDW hardbacks? But that, I don't. They're not the hardbacks that I have. It just looks different. I've never seen anything like that. Although I think that the silhouette on the side looks, you know, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Well, thanks for sending it in, man. I really appreciate it. Awesome. Very nice. I like, I like it. See. That's what I like about doing these. You see stuff that I never knew hat was yeah. out there, or or how they display it. They just display it different. I like that too. Oh, he's got the old yep. Transformer games mm -hmm. too here. I mean, it's, it's, I guess you can't play them anymore. But <laughs> all right, let's take a look at some Takara. Tell me, what's the difference between this one and the Hasbro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, five seconds. Go. Um. Are there, are, are there is there anything different uh, between this and the Hasbro version? Because uh, I know there is on the Alicon. I think there's uh, some color difference on the orange. I think is, I think is white. Maybe I can't remember, but like, it looks like there's a color difference. I don't know. It looks, I only saw pictures, but the pictures look a lot like this. All right, so this is uh, I guess Kim was like, "What is this?" Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is. Uh, Airway, which is one of those parts of the city. What's the first guy called? I didn't buy him. Uh, Ironworks. Ironworks. Yeah. So it's basically like another Ironworks figure so that you can Micromaster. start putting these. Yeah, Micromaster. You can start putting yep. these guys together. 
Wow. And they can turn into a robot. I turn into a road. (laughs) Modulators, okay. Garbage. Honestly, as best a term as that is, that's that's actually true. The modulators. I mean, think about it. I mean, all of these were made to connect with other cities through the ramps, and you could move them around so they, they were modular. So, yeah. yeah. This is and then they, they want you – it's like troop building, like the Hawk Trooper we were talking about. Oh, they want you to buy out multiples. Have you seen, Have you seen like, the pictures on Instagram of, like, people that put, like, four of the ironworks together? It's, oh, yeah. They want you to – and they look pretty good. Like, when you get them all put together and you use your imagination a bit, it's pretty fun. There, there you go, know, Mike. He can hook up to your double dealer, man. This guy's a Hasbro. Yeah, more five, get, get more of those. Yeah. Mm. yeah of <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Now, I will be buying these because I've been buying all the little micro masters. I don't care about playing with them and stuff like that, but uh, it was a uh, what was that called? The uh, Astro Patrol. Yeah, I think so. So I mean, but this want, one actually says. Guys. Actually says NASA. I didn't think the original said that. Dude, I love that. that I like good. that a lot. That's a good shuttle. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they were allowed to say or to write that on the side back then. Dude, yeah. I, I I dig them. I like them. So did they combine together to form the shuttle? Yeah, they come. They, okay. they, they, uh, they come together. Nice. It's called combo micromasters or what it was where you could put them together um it, it, it's been over 30 years. Six, uh, six figures three three vehicles um i can't remember what they were called but yeah it, it doesn't matter it's cool it's all right brett i i have old man moments all the I'm time you, I, can't you all. I have them all the time <laughs> all right so here's the uh i guess hasbro version Alicon. Or, or, or what, what, which one's the Hasbro version and which one's the uh, Takara one? Because I have one with more paint. <laughs> so. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one that is, looks better. <laughs> is, is this the Alicon, the Takara one? Probably because I like it better. Yeah. Dude, I actually like this one more because I like purple. So I, do too. <laughs> I like purple and pink. So I, I, if this is the Hasbro version, yeah, I'm good, man. I'd be all right with buying a couple of each. Hasbro's gray, Takara is pink. So this is the Hasbro one, yeah. and this is the really? Takara one. Well, I, I guess the staff. That makes sense. Boy. It makes the sense. A lot of the stuff away. that Takara's done. Was that if more in the? Back, look back at like Generation Cyclonus. If you look at it, they always do like the purple or pink. Vert. They do the different color one. Yeah, but I mean, a lighter, the, like a lighter. The, uh, the cartoon. Uh, in the the movie, was he more of a pinkish, or was he more of a gray? He's probably I believe more this pink. is. I believe this is supposed to be the correct representation. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, that's a good case. Probably that that would make they sense. Like to, yeah, they like to look through the Pantone book and get the the right ones or something close. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> they're off, but you know it's hard to right. tell. Right, right. I I actually like this one more. But. That that'll be one I'll pick up more than one. I think I've I either have three or four of these on pre-order, so I'll I'll, I'll just stick with the Hasbro one because I mean this one's not bad. I mean uh, this is staff looks better than this one, and then this arm looks better than this. I, I hate gray, this gray yeah, color. It, it doesn't look right. Uh, I I like the the nose of the Hasbro one better, even though you like the the purple. But um, but the, you're right. The arm just doesn't look right. It just looks like it's unfinished. <sighs> I, know, I, just, I hate that gray. I hate that gray color. Yeah, it just looks like it's they, yeah. They didn't do it. yeah. I don't know. I mean, if the, the price one. difference is that much different, I, I'd go with the uh, the car one. I mean, what I, are they? Are they like 30 percent more? With the sh- little shark Takans, I made the Takara. I only got one Takara one. I made him the commander. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I yeah. might do that. That sounds good. Well, yeah. I mean, from That's what I understand right now. The car ones are not that much more expensive. Yeah. yeah what, 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 is, what is not much more expensive? Because like, I I, I've, about, I've had people come up to me before and be more. like, "Yo, it's only it's only five hundred dollars." I'm like, "Yo." No, I. But I think I think I think the difference is I I don't think they're you know they're not double the price. I think they're they're less than fifty percent. I think they're about thirty percent more 
than the uh, the Hasbro ones. Dude, because the difference between the Hasbro and the Takara Headmasters, ooh, man, that was yeah, fifteen dollars versus like I forget what it was, like fifty 40? something. Yeah. yeah, they they kept on going up in price too. So when they stopped changing their colors is when I stopped kidding them. <laughs> All right, and then you got this thing. Man, I wanted just a box set of the regular guys, man. No, you don't. Oh, Mike, you want to, you you don't like yours? I like it, but it's a big floppy mess. You want to sell it to me? No. All right. Shut your mouth, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still a big floppy mess. Look at all those semen. Uh they're sailors. They're in the water. This is not a 12 year old. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, is like, does the arm just not support the, I guess, whenever you have the the six guy the in the gun mode? But yeah. other than that, is he fine? It's, I, I had no problems with it unless you add the six member. Mike and I did this. We had an online conversation about this, what, a month ago? But that once, once you add the gun, it's just too heavy. And it doesn't matter which way you configure it. Will it hold it? Can it hold it? It could. You can coax it into holding it. You can massage it and do it. But you got to be real smart and kind of – the only way I found where it looked good on display is to rest it on the knee. Rest like the elbow joint on the knee where you're kind of – it's like trickery, you know, sleight of hand. Um, so – I'll give you my two cents. The um, snap trap chest on combiner mode does not peg in on the top like it's supposed to. Um, the thumb that holds any, or any of the weapons can flick off really easily. It can You can get it in dynamic poses, but there is the, the factor of the, uh, the uh, joints popping out, the uh, combiner popping out of the joint like... And it, oh, okay. you know, there, Jeez. there, there's a lot of people who have mm. some of these things. I mean, now Rick may not. I do have that issue. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be different for every. I think it's going to be different for everybody and how you. Your, your, yeah, your mastery of posing, like how good, how much do you pose action figures? If you're doing it all the time, this would be you, my you dynamic can, pose right here. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to be able to get that pretty easily, and it's not going to fall. Like, I had one up for about two weeks in in a room where I was working around and stuff, and it was fine. But it does it does have some things that could be better. You know how the combiners are from official. None of them are perfect. But my, my only perfect. issue with this one is, and I knew it would be, the, just the gun mode on that six member. It's just not meant to do it. It's not going to do it right. Now, is this come in with a six member or is it just the no. five? It's, so um, it's it just five. So we're talking about the original yep. Veronica one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this white, though. That's just like kind of yep. milky white plastic. Like it's it's too much on some of these characters, like this one. I, I would have liked some, some white paint in some places to kind of break it up. Yeah, it seems like they went real like heavy on the gold looks, accents. The gold accents look really good, but then you've got the white on the opposite end that that brings it down just a, a little bit for me too. The, uh, okay. Now this this okay uh, because K Bar he's in here talking about uh, it's crazy they made the the squid from Moon Racer like the whole time I'm like <laughs> I'm not buying this a stupid mold and then Hasbro Dakar is like I got him yeah. <laughs> kill I know is that something but uh. Yeah, man, I, I, I don't, you know, what, whatever. It's done fine here, but like, man, you know, that's that's too much of this prototype, milky-looking white on this figure. Like, I want more color, but I, I guess is this is this exactly the way it looks like in the show or it, something like pretty, that? Pretty close. Okay, so I mean, I guess at that point, I'm asking for colors that you know aren't supposed to be on right it. i mean if, if you want this as a recolor of piranicon then you're not gonna be happy you know if you want god neptune that was on the uh the show it's a pretty close representation i i believe that the 
the the white pearl of the original, which is a little more glossy than this, actually was closer, in my opinion. But uh, this this is a good representation. I, I just want the Peronicon. Well, that's just it. You want Peronicon? This isn't this isn't him. So <laughs> it's just not. Yeah, I think what, what he was saying, what Josh was saying at the beginning, is it should have been a box set of Piranha. And who's to say they're not going to redo one and I, do it as a box I still, set after yeah, I have individual ones. They'll do it. I have hopes. I have hopes that they would do it. You know, it, but they did it back in the eighties. So nice. Would they? Re remember back yeah. in the remember back in the day when we thought we were only getting one Metroplex? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How did they or come up Mac. with so many different versions of Metroplex and he's like hard to get? <laughs> yeah. I got to think that the, some, some dude still just got like a, a a storage building with like 300 of those things just like waiting for mm -hmm. the price to keep on going up on them. Someday. I, someday. I'm the guy that I bought one at Toys R Us, didn't like it and sent it back. Oh my God. Why? Right. Yeah, I, I didn't like it. it. Sucked. Didn't like it. Takara masterpiece RC, looking nice. Little little poses for you guys here. Yeah. Whatever, a big piece of garbage. Nice lady. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. don't, don't talk about women like that, Mike. I she, like a, she looks like a prego. She has a great personality. Mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this once. one I don't need early. I'm just going to get this through like BBTS. I'm not even going to order it through Amazon Japan. For Let this. me tell you what. This is something I would never ever say on a regular basis. But the third party looks better than this garbage. That's how that, official that, that, which which that's third party? There's there's any of them. Bad. No. Any of them. Dude, there's some uh, terrible ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. That's that's true. true. Yeah. There's some really bad ones. Honestly, like, if they took this, this and cleaned bad. it up some, it would it would be really good. So Mike but, would rather have Toy World Leia, huh? Okay. I can never I can never know what I'm gonna like that that solidly until I get it in hand. That's just the way I am. That's the way for I'm me, built. For me, this is a definite buy. Me too. I'm with yeah, you. I, I mean, I, I pre-ordered it. Yeah, I don't need I don't, it early, but I did like put a pre-order on it. I, think it looks I, I don't. I don't think the big old, you know, uh, the cloppy Converse shoes or whatever she's got going on, um, and the chest is a little different than what some of the others offer. But overall, I think it's, I think it's and a good figure. The other you know thing saying? is, like, it's it's supporting the movie figures that we've been asking for. Like to get to Josh's Galvatron. We need to support these characters, the characters that are from that movie. We need to. Big Correct. Screw up your Galvatron. No. <laughs> Correct. I can only hope they've been, that they've been working on that Galvatron for almost right. ten years. I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think if they wanted to get a representation from this show, they would have went with this design. I think they're trying to do something else, and I, I don't agree with it. Um, Am I still happy that we're getting it? Yes. Does that mean we're going to get a Galvatron? Possibly. Does that mean the Galvatron might be a little different than what you want? I'd say 100%. You'll get a repaint you, you think, of this you think Wait a minute. Hey, Brett, you think they're leaving the animation model game that they just no. rebooted? No, man. I mean, that I Prime that they rebooted it with, and you've got Hound after that and Bumblebee, like they're... Here, yeah. here's, here's what I'm saying. Looking at this figure... And the way it's designed, um, I'll, I think it would have been done with less female attributes 10 years ago than it is now. And it would have been a perfect representation of the show. Does that make any sense? They're, 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 they're trying to do something that it shouldn't be, in it's, my opinion. Are you, are you saying that it looks too feminine? Yes. No, it looks too it, – it just doesn't look like RC in those two aspects I said. I need to look at the animation model. I have that book in the, the arc book in the other room. I need to take a look because I have not compared it to what well, RC, RC in the comic was a or in the in the show was a feminine character, but it wasn't a in your face feminine character. How's that? And I think they're 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 doing that here. 
So you're saying that she's too. I, I, I I'm not uh, following. Uh, I, I think it looks. I think it looks fine. I I don't know about. I don't know what you mean by in your face. I just think that ten years ago would have been done totally different. <clears throat> I'll just leave it at that. All right, you can tell me. I, I'll still, show, I'll I'm, I'm not. I'm not following you, but That's uh, right. I, I will still get it. I just don't think it's the perfect representation of the character in the movie. That's a really side. good shot right there that shows the like a like a tune simplistic lines mm -hmm. on that vehicle. I mean, look how simplistic that is. It's pretty good. I wonder right? if what it is actually fit. You know, like you got with the little masterpiece with like the little spike, you know, and yeah. car wing and stuff. Yeah. Or, I wonder if you could fit those in there. Like, if they made it. If they made it to where they're like, let's adjust a little something here and here so that you can actually do that, put Spike and Carly in there, do that. Yeah. Like, you just got an extra bonus point. You know, that's yeah. the stuff I want to see. So, just yeah. like whenever uh, fans toys with their Cyclonus in the cockpit, they had that little mini Galvatron with his fist doing like this. I'm like, dude, bonus point right there. You know, so that's the stuff I want to see. Yeah, if they had like a little Daniel figure with the little gun he's shooting and rebirth, uh, like part one, two, three, whatever one. If they had that, you know what scene I'm talking about? When he stick it, wasn't he in the car? It gave him the idea for the headmasters. Remember okay. when Daniel's sitting in the car and he's he's got the he's shooting? Yeah, that's what I want. I want little figures that are like, you know, because they've done that with a few of them. Definitely looks like it's it's super posable. I like that. Well, yeah, you, you can see back and forth here and then slide to slide. So, yeah, I mean, I wonder if if done, post, that's probably what they're showing off. That'd be pretty sweet. The the hip holster. I wonder if it uh, actually goes in there. I like Robocop. Yeah. Robocop. I mean, well, it, it, either it does or it's detachable because mm -hmm. seen some pictures with it gone. I mean that looks like perfect you space. Can't, yeah. Put a little. Yeah, uh, spider you can't, you can't say anything about the uh, the car mode. It looks good. Yeah. See, we haven't. The only thing we haven't seen is the under. Well, there we go. The wheels are thin, but were they that thin? Well, you don't uh, know. I, don't I can't know. remember. I mean, I was never looking at the wheels, Rick. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Randy says, "How much is it?" The, the RC the 150. 150 on Pulse. Yeah. You can Woo! buy it on yeah. Pulse. How, yeah. Now, what yeah. scale is this? Masterpiece. EMP. Yeah, it's masterpiece. a masterpiece. I mean, 150 bucks for Masterpiece is too much. That, and that what they're going for now? That more? Yeah. like It's less I, than Hound. I, I could see them doing 150 Hound's for a Voyager rich. class, and hey, you what? know what? People would still pay it. So I'm happy with this. What is it on Amazon Japan? Is Dalton in the chat? Yeah, I don't think it's, it's, it's about thirty dollars. It's about thirty dollars less, from what I heard. Yeah, so remember, you, can get it you can get it. You can get it cheaper, probably. I, I mean, overall, it. look at this. I think this is a definite buy. Yeah, yeah. I'll save my money and go buy me another primal. It, it cleans up good. It looks good in 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 vehicle mode. It's articulated. It's it's a good figure. Yeah, absolutely. It looks, it looks maybe because I see a little thing here. Uh, maybe the holster can plug on either side. Could be. I don't know. Yeah. But still, it's – and that's the other thing. You look at the uh, the play value of how you can pose it. I mean, look at that. This this is mistransformed, I think. Okay, so yeah. see this piece right here? Because the whole time I've been looking at it – Well, maybe no. it, it is right because the line is, is going – Perfect right there. I just felt like her chest is a little bit too far down. Sagging. It's a skull space bait. Sagging. Yeah. Trying to, trying to say just because she's from the 80s, she's old. I didn't have to Rick, say you said it plain as day. Rick, I'm, I'm, I'm offended. I'm not, yeah, I'm not touching this one. I'm yeah, going to buy it. I'm leaving this one alone. Yeah. What, what is on her stomach? Oh. What is that? Is that a uh, warning a, sticker or what? It's a tramp stamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reverse <laughs> stamp. I get that. Okay. Are you gonna uh, have a few different are you gonna, here? 
Yeah, she's happy, she's happier, and she's talented. They should have. <laughs> <laughs> they should have changed oh, up the damn. lips. They should have changed up the lips, though, on all of them. It just her mouth just oh. getting wider. But oh, that just that that there is a Dalton note right there. <laughs> Mike's gonna buy it now. Yeah. Oh my god, I got tears down my face. That was so. Funny. I love when they do the different faces. It's awesome. Oh, obviously. <laughs> I don't know about those wheels. I get weird on the wheels. Like I don't know why. Like it doesn't matter if it's mainstream, like Earthrise oh, or it's MP. I'm always making sure that the wheels are. In ch- I don't know why. <laughs> OCD well, on it. Wheels are thinner like- in the future. It's 2005. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wheel- <laughs> wheels are like feet. Do you have fascination with feet too? Oh my god. No, I'm not into feet. Smell of exception. Nice. Okay, well, we got a fascination with your feet, Mike. Look, <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm missing part of mine. For the lack thereof. Perfect for night night crawler cosplay, though. That's all. Looks like. Got a booty belly right there. Oh no! See it? <laughs> Two, ah, boy, Rick, you got you got me on that one. I like this little too hot for you. <laughs> oh yeah, right. She's walking away, but she'll give look, you one last the gun, look. Gun, the gun does go in the holster. <laughs> you can't you have go. this. She's saying sorry, Springer. You, you need that whip sound. Yeah, <sighs> that's the first picture. So, I think I think she looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's the uh, just more pictures of the. Movie masterpiece, Starscream. We took a look at uh, some pictures of this uh, last show, but maybe some extra features that weren't shown off in the other pictures. Oh, Kurt Fury says he's going to get that, that RC, but he's also getting the one made by Noise. Or noise, or whatever. Oh, yeah. A firebird, yeah. I think, is what it's called. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now that one is what what uh, Megamus was saying, like real female, female. Yeah. In your right. Face. Oh, that's weird. So his little extra hands attached to his back. Gotta put him somewhere. Okay. That's well. for everybody that likes to that wants to throw the boxes away. That's what they do that for. <clears throat> nice jet mode. I like it. It's pretty clean. We haven't seen the other side, but still I'm cool. wait. Right now it looks clean. They're, it's like they do all jets. All jets are like, oh, the top looks clean and then like, Kibble. like car- cargo carrier at the bottom Who, what company was that was it zeta toys that did those uh aerial bots where i was like oh you're looking at it from the top you're like oh that's clean clean and it was just a big box at the bottom of it <laughs> well this one's got like you know mega attack mode so or get that for uh, infringement rights you're right i should get that well Nope, we're not going to show you the bottom. Nope. Because yeah. we wanted to actually sell this. Nope, we're not going to show you. Or that his whole chest is open up. Blech. Looks horrible. <laughs> Randy said, so why are they pushing the movie stuff? Uh, aren't exactly. they rebooting the movie? Yeah, yeah get, get it out. Movie. Get it out now is basically what they're doing with it. I believe that. Well, apparently, in some aspects, this is really a lot of people's uh, G1. Uh oh, he said it. Quit oh, saying no. that. Oh, Quit no. saying that. You can uh, say it's somebody's first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, TFC Light. Toys. Look at look at this blot. Oh man. Look at those little bitty legs for a big old blot, man. It's a Digimon. 
That's exactly what I was thinking it looked like, too, was a Digimon. A Digimon. I, I, I forget who, who it was whenever I posted so I think it was Dalton. I was like, yeah, TL he was like, TFC Toys is still around? <laughs> Dang. What is it? Uh, Kurt, Kurt Fury said in regards to the uh, Starscream, it's like a mullet. Jet on top, butt on the bottom. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Mullet screen. There you go. Mold screen. <laughs> but well, see all the uh, Terracons, they were all kind of just like mystical beast or whatever, like made up beast. Uh -huh. So they yeah. could, you know. It seems insane. like they would have been the easiest ones to to make as far as transformers because like you're not, hey, we have to make it look like a uh, a rhino or we have to make it look like a, a Porsche, you know, 928, you know, something very specific. It's like make up whatever kind of like terrible monster animal you want, you know, and like you, you're given free design to it. And then whenever they came out with G1 blood, it was kind of like, this is the best you could come up with guys. Come on. You know, that's a guy that never had a psychedelic dream about a two handed dragon. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, don't judge. Cool, don't man. judge. And and these are masterpiece scale, I think, right? Yeah, the TFC yeah. Yeah. combiner. Masterpiece scale Digimon. That's nice. All right. Yeah, like camera says, he usually doesn't mind the translucent, but he's like, I I can't get into those yellow claws, man. Yeah. It's... Yeah. I... Yeah. I, I I don't like. I don't think I've liked a single one of these. Uh, Terracons that DFC has done. You know, but if you're in that Digimon slash Transformer phase, well, I mean, why not? Is there anyone in that? Is that a phase, really? I don't know. I mean, we, we don't mm -hmm. encompass every aspect of the of the fandom. But... Right. Yeah. All right, here you got fans hobby. Got some uh, old colors. What was he called? Armada. Um, something pants. Uh, car shoulder guy. <laughs> Where he had the big, the little radar thing that would transform the pants. Thunderpants. Yeah. And then he would Don't snap on top. Don't it was so anything, anything is an improvement. So, you know, going crazy with this. Oh, uh, Kevar said Phase Life. Is that his name? Uh, I, have, I have no idea who this is. is this, this is some Unicron trilogy thing, isn't it? Yeah, but the first yeah. Armada. Yeah, Actually, the beginning. You it off the trailer. You would, you would. It was by uh, infrared or whatever, didn't it? It, it would yeah. transform. The and, then, uh -huh. and then they would transform into his legs or his pants. Right. And you just snap the top on, so it was like uh, yeah. a transforming <laughs> pants gimmick type thing. Yeah. It was horrible. So anything would be an improvement. So. You got legs, Lieutenant Diane. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> And they even had the the coronavirus. I mean, Corona Spark Plug. Oh. Mm -hmm. And he's got the big gun. That's what's important. That's right. <laughs> Let me. See. It is. It is a good quality I'm toy. Right. I mean, fans' hobbies yeah, print out it, good stuff. It looks pretty accurate to what I remember. It is it's de like I said, it's definitely better than the original. The camera says Armada Optimus Prime or Superlink Convoy. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, at least it's it's better. If if this is what you want, you like the Armada. Why not? Jesus. <laughs> yep. It's <laughs> oh, Uh. Dalton, this is for for you though, because <laughs> this is what he, he grew up with, our modest stuff. Yeah. So, it, you want this? It, it, does this meet your approval, Dalton? I hope that doesn't. But uh, <laughs> the other thing that that can't be real. That can't be what they're really thinking to do, right? That it's, looks like it's uh, like a little. It's a little mini bot. It's a, you know, like, yeah. uh, did you it's ever, small. you probably didn't have it. It's better it's, than the spark plug we got. Yeah. 
It it's, really is. Ah! Limited art, yeah. Stop it, Savor. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'd like to see what they do with Energon Prime. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, Dalton says he'll wait for the official, but Dalton, uh, it, yeah, I'm asking, like, yeah, do, you, do, you, do you like it though? <laughs> I still have my Armada shelf up. I've taken down a lot of stuff recently, but I still have one small area for Armada because I was getting back into it pretty heavily then. I, I, yeah, I, I do have to say, even in vehicle mode, this looks very, very much like the original. Yep. Yeah. But but transforms like totally it. different. Thank God. So, I, it's it's not horrible. How about that? It's not horrible. Yeah. How, how do I how do I get rid of this? Okay, there we go. Definitely, like like Dakota said, definitely better than the original. Dakota said that. I'm sorry, Dalton did. Sure. I didn't see Dakota on there. I don't know why I said that. Oh, because he messaged me. Um, no, he said better than the original. Oh, so see, I, I, totally I like they have ports too for the uh, mini cons. Yeah, I like, yeah, this I like part these. Of it. The Hasbro ones look nice. The one that they mm. came with, this little guy, man, that yeah. thing would. Yeah, but see the yellow one next to it? That's what he was. That's him. Yeah. That's, that was him. So it's better than that. <laughs> I mean, it just it, it's better. Yeah. I mean, they both garbage. I mean, just <laughs> she's dang. I, I no, I'm saying the little mini car. I'm not talking about this. I'm saying the little mini car just because, like, the original one was garbage. Don't need to make the brand new one when you got all the technology garbage. Look what Hasbro popping out here with, man. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, those are. I play with those all the time. My yeah. kid loves those too. They're great. They're, they're for all ages. There are people that that's all they do is mini cons. I mean, it's you yeah. know, I mean, Rick and I were talking about like uh, the the cassettes and this that, and the other. Yeah, it's it's a thing. Yeah, the mini people cons. Like are, there's enough of them. Yeah, I can't imagine getting them all. I can't even. That would be a headache. I mean, me, there's like, the, in Japan the there were store exclusive, uh, magazine exclusives. I mean, there's yep. so many different ones. It's insane. So I mean, but I did like them. I like the gimmick. Yeah, because I mean, absolutely. at the time, at the time, it was MicroMasters, but they, you know, plugged in and stuff. And well, I mean, think about that. Before that, we had the what, what was it? Before, did we have this the Cyber Key before or after? Was after, after, was, after. after. It, it, to me, it reminds me of that. I just remember the Cyber Keys. You you needed this to make yeah, this it work. Unlocks I, I like feature. It. Yeah. yeah exactly. So I it's like a play when it unlocks features. Yeah. Sure. I know. What even is this gift? Like a pregnant woman dancing to music or something? Like, There's some really weird stuff going on, <laughs> on the side there. It's, I don't know this, what that is. This person's made a, a gif on every single picture. Well, that was for that was for sport. So, and I enjoyed every second of it. Thank there you, you go. That, 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 it was worth it. There you go. <laughs> it's, we're we're good. All right. Well, there there's going back to the original one. So public thrust for everyone. There you go. He's buff, dude. <laughs> He's got a lot bigger. Uh, let's see. Transform element. There you go. Uh, this is for Dakota. Oh, he ain't into these. I'll go it's, with Mike on this one. It's That's, Bumblebee and Cheetor. Yeah, yeah. I would say it's, it's more Mike. Trash. It's Vitor. It's trash. It's garbage. <laughs> would someone eat the beans and be done with it? A a a a little more, <laughs> it looks like Zoids. Like he's eating yeah. at Denny's or something. I can't. <laughs> don't, don't know, get this. Uh, um, Cameron, go ahead and uh, put this one on Dalton's list. He's going to buy this one too. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got to at least have three in case he breaks one. We're, uh, we're buying for you, Dalton. Come on. In Dakota. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Iron Factory. Uh, final product images. Yeah, uh, uh, Dalton, uh, Dakota, uh, Dalton, God, Dalton says he's not getting that. 
Yeah. Uh, well, he's in well, denial. Cam Cameron's already put it on the list. You you're having to buy it. So uh um, there, no. there was uh, another company that made a bigger one of these a while back, a few years back. Remember that? I think Dalton actually had this. Who was it? What third party company was it? And are they still around? Anyone? Can anyone remember? I nope. Okay. I, I I don't know either. So I'm just waiting for Cameron to tell me. <laughs> anyone. <laughs> I, mean, I think you're right, but I don't know. Make toys chaos palatin. That is palatin. exactly what Whoa. I was gonna say. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, so yeah, I remember uh they came out with him a few years back. I think Dalton. Actually, I do think Dalton had this one. Hmm. God, it was make toys that made it. I might have that. Yeah, Dalton said that he had this one. No, it's even worse that you have it and you don't remember it. I don't know. I, I used to buy a lot of third party. That's all I'll say. And Make Toys was one of my go-tos. Oh, you're 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 good, Cameron. That's fine, man. Yeah, so uh, Dalton, you're going to get this one as well. So you can put it with your bigger one. And this can be like his little, uh, his son. You know, there you go. Uh, this is for Megs. Uh, this is New Age. Yes. But just go G1 Reflector. They're I don't, these even, out. even if I don't like it, I got to get it. But I do like it. You got the Toy Colors one too. Doesn't matter. I I gotta get every reflector. My favorite. Dude, that's a lot of reflectors. It looks so good. Look at look at it though. For a little legend skill. Yeah. I mean, I know it's smaller, but I mean still, it, it represents everything. I, I I love it. Well, I would think the little legend skill would go nice with like some of your bigger guys anyway, sure. considering that he's a camera. Yeah, but the camera mode looks so good. It, it really did. So this is this is an easy buy, especially at legend scale. So it probably won't hurt the wallet as much. So you you are buying all the reflectors that are out there, all the third parties and everything. The only one I didn't get, and I can't remember, that was the first one that came out, and I bought it. I hated it. Um, it was the one that had all the little knives that could connect to it, and the guns, and I can't remember the name perfect, of it. Perfect effect. Yes. Yeah. Well, guys, I, 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 I had that one. Dude, I, I hated that one. I, I, it. I thought yeah, that thing was awesome. Have it. But, but the yeah. others, I, I I have quite a few reflectors. Yeah. I, I That's that's my guy right there. The very first combiner. Oh, so, like, that's cool that he comes with, like, the little, like, just a little camera accessory. So, yeah. you can yeah. really act like he's transformed. That's nice. Yeah, but look at that. That is a clean setup right there. I love it. Simple. Uh, cartoonish. Oh, look, look at there. Yep. And there's the uh, the toy design one. And I'll, I'll, I'll get that one too. Dude, I'm digging those colors, man. Yeah, that was really good. Purple, teal, black. So, like, yo. Mm -hmm. that he just needs nice. like a Charlotte. He needs like a little Charlotte Hornet hat on his head. And he can <laughs> Dude, he needs a little bit of fuchsia. Man, the beautiful <laughs> you know, Everyone has their little niche or whatever. I like Reflector. No, it's cool. But is Reflector like three separate characters or? No, I look at it as an extension of one character in three or because he in the cartoon, he would mass produce himself like a oh. uh, multiple man. Um, so, but I still feel that he is the first combiner. Makes sense. Yeah, Dalton, I had both of those reflectors. Yeah, but... the perfect effect, and I actually had the special one that was in all black. I didn't care for that one either. I have the KFC. I like it. I had the TFC uh, DSLR camera as well. That thing was bad. There's some I like better than others. This one, 
even though it's small actually because it is smaller i like it i mean i have the original uh the, the g1 i have a kabaya one which is actually smaller i like it even better so i think this would be perfect uh, in my opinion even though in the cartoon he was like sized up with everyone else he should have been a smaller character kurt fury says they have a hive mind like the stepford cuckoos yeah Cuckoos exactly oh, okay yeah exactly that's how i feel Oh, has anyone ever found those? I, I still need the Moonstar and, and the uh, little Stepford sisters for X-Men or, or uh, Marvel Legends. I remember back in the day when I would go in Walgreens. I need them if you find them, guys. So, uh, some translucent ones. You're going to get these. That's a Delta special. Yeah. This is a special request from Dalton. No, I mean. So they came out with them. Dalton said uh, he's it's definitely like, going to uh, get this. You need, Brent, you need these this. because, like, as he's making his little multiple men, this is like that transition, that transition phase as he's making his multiple reflector. Now, five. I, I don't know if I'd go so far as to get this, too. <laughs> well, I mean, are getting twenty different reflectors. I'm going to say, whoa. whoa. Well, here, here, uh, Dalton. Whenever you go to the RoboCon or whatever, just bring this set. That way, Brett can check it out. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. Focus on doing that. Yeah. Oh, you can shine the light. But I'm okay. Oh, they're working together. Hmm. Man, I got three sets there. Yeah, but it looks so good. They do. Oh, here's another uh, Dalton special here. <laughs> uh, Iron Factory. Dude, hey, but you know what? The translucent, the light translucent blue from Mirage makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, the, like it's, I'm usually not into the translucent stuff, but for Mirage, makes sense though. Yeah, Dalton said he's probably gonna actually pick up a, a couple of those reflector sets, so he might just give you one whenever you get to the Robocon. There nice. you go. There you go. So nice guy. I'll be happy. I'm bringing something else. <laughs> Dalton says he doesn't do uh, legend <sighs> scales. He's just hating, you know. Just hate me. I got that Agamemnon Megatron, and it's fantastic. What what is what is that's that? That's the Legends Megatron by New Age. It's like a miniature MP thirty six. Now see, I went with all the the other Beast Wars stuff, the Legend scale, and I love it. So I mean, yeah, the Legend the scale doesn't bother me so much if it makes mm. sense. And, and with Reflector, I kind of can sort of make. I want to see how it looks. I think it'll look good. I, I just yeah. do. Dalton, you gotta stop spamming the chat, man. Or Cameron's <laughs> gonna Cameron's gonna put you in a timeout. <laughs> Cameron, if he if he keeps on spamming, then just put him in a timeout. <laughs> you say that now, he'll probably just do it out of spite. Yeah, Kurt, Kurt Fury says that that Megatron is really good. So yeah, what about this little car mode? It's hard to see the details of it with it all being yeah. translucent and stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of people in this group that have had a lot of problems with translucent plastic. So with time, translucent yeah. plastic and time do not mix. Did you see those photos? Uh, I, I reposted it on a Facebook page where this dude just had nothing but translucent figures. Like, yeah. I was <laughs> like, oh my God. The only thing that would be worse is if he had them in the windowsill by the sun. Oh, so. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> it's a ticking time bomb. Okay. Let, let me try to get this right. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I was drunk when I posted this. That's why I'm like I'm lost. Some some kid from Studio Series Soundwave, uh, one fifteen Utopia YYW dash six kit. Like I I don't know what that is, but 
Uh, yeah, so some little add-on kits for your sound wave. So what are you doing? You giving him a grill? So, so I guess this is prior and like this is the after. So you're basically giving them a brawl. I guess so. Odd. And I guess a couple guns. So you get a brawl and a couple guns. Oh, and a little filler from there. Mm. That seems a little tedious. Okay. That people would be like, "Yo, you this gotta is really." Like I, I need the add-on kit where it add, fills in this little bitty space right here. You got to really be into that figure for sure. Yeah, so that that's what you get there. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait, wait, uh, let's see. Uh, you can pre-order them. Let's see. Oh. Uh, so they're gonna available for pre-order where you can get all that. So basically, BBTS, Entertainment, uh, Chosen Prime, TF Source, you know, all those. All right, so a little bit of news for these guys. So PowerCon canceled. Hey, you can still get these exclusive PowerCon exclusives. And uh, Rick, you're probably thinking, oh, since I don't get to go to PowerCon, so then they've probably gone down on their price. You would be incorrect, <laughs> sir. They are still the <laughs> same price. BBTS are, added 60 bucks to it. There are even more? Yeah. Because this a, is 200 and this is 40 They're basically $40 a figure, which is like, yo, that's that's uh, like Ultimates, like Super 7 Ultimates, you know, mm -hmm. uh, price. I wonder if they'll put like a run number on these no they never do that let's see let's see dang so they went up twenty dollars on the sheer and went up seventy dollars yeah retail they, they jacked them up higher on bbts oh uh, what where, where was i oh did i exit off oh crap oh well we, we saw it i i just think that's that's crazy i was want, want to see if it did it the same on the uh PowerCon website? No, it's less on PowerCon. Yeah, so just go there. Yeah, just go there. Until and until they're sold out, and then that's when you'd go. You'd have to go to BBTS. But like all those figures, like they're going to be come out in regular retail anyway for what, like ten, fifteen dollars. So right. Why would you pay forty dollars for them? Well, they're based on the Lords of Power prototypes, where they have slightly yeah. different paint schemes and details. Beastman's a little bit different in sculpt. Like and it that. sucks because it's coming out at the very beginning. So the people that are on the fence, like, am I going to go all in on Origins or not? I don't know. But guess what? If you don't pre-order that in, what, the next week or two, it's going to be gone. Yeah. So there's only one Origins thing out, and that's last year's SDCC set, which is amazing. I love that set. But it's too soon to, for me to know if I'm going to go all in. But they're making, you know, they're doing that before you even – get the figures so let, let, that sucks uh, real quick let's we we'll talk about this real quick this is classic mattel do you remember how they kick-started the thundercats line mm -hmm. an exclusive yeah. two-pack wally kit and wally cat yeah. uh to where it was what was it like if you didn't attend like on their website for like four days in a row, but only for like five yeah. seconds a day. I got yeah. mine and then I had to order yours, Rick. Yeah, I remember. Because I was sitting there just refresh, refresh, refresh. I had yeah. all my credit card, all my stuff, information already pre-entered. And even the first two days, uh, it sold out within like two or three seconds. Yeah. Like, Jeez. Yeah, so like that fiasco to where it's like if you didn't attend the con and you weren't able to get that, then it's like, okay, hey, uh, we just started our Thundercats, you know, classic right. collection. Do you want to, you know, get in on wave one? It's like, no, because I'm already two figures out, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's that's Mattel. They, they are terrible about how they kick off a line with exclusives. Yeah. Now, Okay, after that got the blood pressure up. Uh Hasbro. <laughs> Hasbro with some with some good stuff here. Uh I remember that uh 
I didn't get all the figures of the Kingpin way, but I want a Kingpin. And I know that, uh, Rick, you said that you went you went just one day and you're just like spend, dropping big money on all these building him and, figures. Yeah, him and Rhino. I just went and got a bunch that I missed out on. And they're all good. Like some of these figures are amazing. This figure in particular is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And so now thirty dollars. How much did you pay for yours? Or I, I guess you don't have to say if you don't want to. But no, I don't even remember. I mean, you know what I buy? I have no it, idea. It was like I, I thought. I thought it was like nine. It was a lot. It was like ninety him or hundred. Yeah, him and Rhino were both like right under ninety bucks, I think. And um, you know what? I'm thinking of buying a second one. That way, I can put that other head. Um, what's the what head am I thinking of? What's what's the guy? The He's got like a little little red hat and he's got Shadow glass. King. Shadow, Shadow King. Yeah. King. Yeah. You think that'll work with this, this one? Co- this one's got a bruise on the eye too. I can't tell what else is different, but it looks like he's busted up, which is really cool because yeah, there's got some cuts. Peter Parker figures that are out there with the bruises too. Yeah. So I might, I might pick up two of him, but again, like we see the Venom, it's coming in, you know, you build a figure coming in like this a little bit later. And then uh, they made, a, they made a little, a little bit of change to the Venom figure. Now they come out with, you know, your Kingpin, they make some changes to him. I like this idea. You can get in with the build a figure. Hey, but don't feel like, uh, you know, you messed out or, you know, or, if you didn't want the whole way, but you wanted to build a figure, hey, we're still going to make the build a figure a different enough to where you can still, you know, double dip, buy it again, or yep. you can just buy it individually. I like that. Yeah, I love it. That's what. That's a, a good way to do it. And I mean, Juggernaut. They came out with him. They just put him in Colossus two pack, which you'd want the Colossus, you know. Yeah. And, and and that was a deal where me and Mike worked out where I got the Colossus, he got the Juggernaut because I already had it from build a figure. Like I still need uh. Rhino and Sandman. Yeah. Same here, yeah. Uh, I still I, need Lizard. I didn't Lizard's get Lizard. Awesome. Oh, and uh, Sauron is awesome too, dude. Those are, those are great. But I, I wanted all the figures in those waves, so. Or except for the Sauron. I sold all my Deadpools to Mike. All right, take a look at the uh, Black Series. Uh, here's your Snow Speeder. Seeing some of the stuff that's different about him, God, this, I knew that. This, this stuff is so nice, man. The, the some of the black series like blow my mind when I get them in, and I just I only had the only thing new I've got. I've got the first wave, but I don't have all the second wave. But I have this one in the Hawk Soldier, and they're just so solid. Like you, you couldn't do a better job. And, you know, there are a lot of figures we pick on because there's something that's off. You know, a lot of the Transformers were kind of picky on that stuff, but. A lot of the black series are really good. They're just solid. <clears throat> yeah, Cameron, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to get another Kingpin body so I can put the Shadow King on there. Um, and then, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see. Action figure expert Man. says, give yourself a Marvel Select Sandman. He's a bit cooler. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll check it out. I've got only two Marvel se- or three Marvel Select figures uh, right now. What's up, Toy Mafia? Uh, on these so far, I've got the Bespin Luke, uh, the Han Solo, and I found a uh, Lando today. I need, still need Lando. Me too. They're yeah. so good. Like I love the upgrades. Anything that that they've upgraded with the with the faces and stuff. It's one thing. Look, when you're looking at it on a screen and the face is giant, it's it's such at that at that micro macro whatever level. But when you get it in hand, it looks so good. You know, I think a lot of people they think seeing that picture great big and close up is what it's going to look like. But your naked eye doesn't even see that. You need a magnifying glass to see those things. Right. Um, but these these black series, man, they just they all look really good. The Han Solo might be the best uh, Harrison Ford face sculpt that's ever been done. What do you mean the Lando neck looks weird? What you talk about? You get you oh, got the Han Solo Bespin, right? Bespin re- Han Solo. Yeah. The 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 issue with the neck on on Lando is uh, the neck I think is molded in blue, and they painted the neck the skin color. And some of them are not applied enough, so the blue bleeds through it. 
So be careful oh. when picking one. Well, they don't, that was the only figure they had. All right, Cameron, later, man. Cameron's awesome. I need that snow speeder next. Mike, you seen that out in the wild? You're the hunter. No, hey, I'm not. Okay, you see these goggles? They Mike, look great. Are you guys? Yes. Snow, jo snow jobs on the way, man. And also, uh, <laughs> you're getting your snow job accessories. And uh, God, God, what's his name, man? Uh, he's Joe. He's gray and black, wears a beanie, and has the goggles. Um, Frostbite. Firefly. No, not Firefly. He's a good guy. Frostbite. Frostbite. Yeah. Nah, it's not Frostbite that I'm thinking of. <laughs> What's he do? What's his special? He's he, he's he got blonde hair. Uh, low light. Low light. Yeah. Thank right. you. Frostbite. Come on. Man. Frostbite. Low light. <laughs> Leonardo. Oh, you leave it too. Kurt Fury. Gonna go. All right. Yeah, we get done with the Transformers. Then yeah, the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head out, go eat something like that. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna get at least four of him. They making you buy another R2. They're like, hey, what if we what if we yeah. put some more crap on them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they'll buy. It. They'll buy. It. Super digable. Well, the reason why is simple. He's a cash cow. There you go. Yeah, it's true. And it's a way that they can make use as little amount of plastic and articulation and stuff mm -hmm. and still get the, that $20. Yeah, oh. that's why you're able to get the things that you're getting on the Hoth soldiers because they, they found – I love when they switch the budget so they're not all equal. I do love it because it means that one of the other figures is going to be like amazing. I do. I, I dig that way of thinking. Oh, have you seen the Amazon reviews of the child, the six inch black series, the child, you know, the, the baby Yoda or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So many people give him one stars and be like, I thought he was going to be six inches, but he's tiny. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm like you casuals, man. It's six inches. Yeah, yeah. You think that R2 and the if they came out with a Rancor uh in six inch line they're gonna be the same size? Like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> the baby Yoda thing was definitely a little pop culture phenomenon. The masses. That's yeah, so funny. I'm gonna go in there. I gotta go read those. I gotta go read those. Dude, they <laughs> are hilarious. <laughs> Everybody, go after the show. Go to Amazon. Go look for the <laughs> Star Wars Six Inch Black series, the Child or Baby Yoda, and just go read the reviews. The the negative one. Well, I think they're all negatives actually. Uh, but just like you know, when you can pull up five, four, three, just go to the one stars. Dude, they are great. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So here, here's the Lando. I didn't know there was this much difference. Like, because I was like, I thought that this is what mine looked like, but I was like, because I always thought this Lando face looked good. Uh, it looked pretty good. I remember when it came out. We were, yeah, we liked it. Now the Skiff Guard Lando is the one that actually that I was remembering that looks good because that actually had the face printing technology. Yeah. Like this one is right. like, yeah, this is good, but it's like, wow, that one's, yo, that one's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, man. Yeah, just looks more alive. Okay, and these are just little cinematic pictures or whatever. They're going to make me a Black Series uh, ad at so, mm -hmm. so I can complete my scene with the snow speeder. So I got my Luke. He's sitting here. Leia, there was no changes from Leia from the exclusive two-pack with Han that they released yeah. uh, like a year ago or whatever. There was like mm -hmm. some European exclusive, so that's why I was like, I don't, I don't need her. Yeah, yeah. And she had the face printing technology. Look at this. It's it's hard because remember when it came out, you didn't think it was that bad, but then a few years later, 
Jeez, this one doesn't even look like Mark Hamill now. Like before, we were like, "Yo, man, that looks exactly like him." And now we get this one, we're like, "We're like, who's this guy? <laughs> Who that? <laughs> this is crack out cousin." This? <laughs> it's crazy. That's, that's John Hamill. That's <laughs> oh, even the skin, even the skin. Oh, he hit the little tanning bed a little bit there. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. celebrity. Got to keep it up. I mean, got that Tatooine kind of skin, you know. You out in the two suns every day. Uh, yeah, you got it. Right. Yeah, one, one's been on Tatooine. The other one's been stationed on Hoth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's been eating wampa critters, <laughs> nuggets. Uh, wampa nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so here's the original. The What was this, like, series to like the second wave or something like that. I think Yoda was maybe, or was he first? Yeah, fairly also, early. Yeah, yeah like one or two. So here's a new one, but I'm not gonna buy him because I'm gonna get him again with the Luke Skywalker two pack. So yeah, because I, I, I definitely do not need three Yodas in the same freaking outfit. So you need them all. <laughs> it's, it's not that much different. Eh. Yeah. It, 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 was, it wasn't a huge difference to me. It's mainly the eyes. Yeah, yeah, and, and like the hair is not as much there. But everything else is yeah. like exactly the same. I'm, I'm like, actually, I already got the spirit Yoda too as well. But like this guy, he's gonna look exactly like the one that comes with the uh, Luke two pack, and I've got that on pre-order. So I'm not gonna get it because it's not six inches tall. Yeah, wh wh why is Yoda <laughs> only like three inches tall? <laughs> He's supposed to be six inches. Jeez. I feel ripped off. Yeah, <laughs> I I got two of these in. I, I started to open it, and then I saw that I got to cut the little bottom piece. I need to get a second one of those. How many did we see on screen? I can't what's, remember. What's What's different about it, Randy? Because I, I just kind of glanced at it, and I was like, this looks like it's going to be the, the same. Why's it, why's it got all that dirt on them? They landed on this snow planet. <laughs> it's dirty snow? Oh yeah, they crash. Remember, they crash into the ground and then they unfold. Yeah. So it's possible you can get like dirt. Uh, let's see. Let's let's keep it moving. Okay, this is just cinematic stuff. All right. All right, got some NECA stuff. Uh, so a little bit of tune. So if you want to get in their NECA tune, I know they're doing it with Terra tunes or something like that. I've seen some of those things at uh, Target, mm -hmm. but. I, me, I'm gonna pass on all that. Mm. Yeah. But I, I am yeah. down for the uh, the ultimates, and they need to make a Delorean. Look, yeah, look at the Biff. I would have preferred a Doc versus a Biff, to be honest. But man, whatever. You'll probably get it. Wave two. Well, again, it's NECA, so if like the first lot wave doesn't do well, then they just they can it. So. Uh, but I would think Back to the Future would do good. Like it I should do pretty well. I think it'll do well. Yeah. You get the ooh la la and the almanac. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. A couple different faces. Marty. <laughs> Yeah. And so I I see that I could use all these because I can put the backpack on and then camcorder in this hand, skateboard holding it in this, and then the guitar, and we'll just keep it in the box or whatever. Sling it in the back. Yeah. No, that's too much. I, so I, he had the, they had the glasses on when he was doing the guitar with the big speaker, right? Yeah, so th okay. this would be together. So I'm just going to do this, and then this will yeah. be – Put to the side, but man, yo, that looks nice. And the Pepsi, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna do the hoverboard with them. Like, I don't know, put the Pepsi to the side or something, I guess. Uh, 
I honestly think you, they, and I know why they want to do, they want to get Marty as the forefront, but they could have skipped this and went with a, a Doc Brown on that first wave. Or gone uh, all in on one. Yeah. And then do two and then three. I, I, I watched all uh, three. Uh, yeah, but I also see how they do this stuff. They, you know, they want the main character. It's just like Bumblebee or, you know, whoever. They, they do different alliterations of that to try and for the kids. I'll, I'll, I like this one. Even though two is my favorite out of the three, uh, I, I still like, yeah, that's that's the classic one. But also remember, we need to promote these to get the second wave. Uh, also, Mecca, their little crate service thing that they wanted you to sign up for that I didn't because uh, I didn't want a bunch of random stuff that I didn't know what I was going to get. Uh, some glow-in-the-dark turtle from whenever in the game when he gets electrocuted. You know, oh. <laughs> so kind, kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of interesting, you know. But I, I just can't get into the crates where they're like, "Hey, here's a figure, a shirt, some stickers, uh, like like an eraser and some pens and stuff." Yeah, like, right. Dude, dude I don't eraser. need all that. I don't need all that extra stuff. Like a shirt sounds cool, but I want to know like what's it look like because I don't just go buy every yeah. year. And then the exactly. the figure sounds cool, but like. You packing in all this like extra stuff that I don't care about, you know. I, I never liked that idea, and I get that's where like they that's where they make their money. So, uh, here here you go, uh, Power Ranger guys. You now you're talking like, about these, weren't you? On uh, me and Rick were. yeah, yeah, the, the plastic. Oh, we don't know if they're plastic yet or not. I mean. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I not enough info on everything. Well, according to the video on uh, Hasbro Pulse, they said it were they were die cast I, coins. They did say they did say die cast. My only problem is if they're back metal, I don't, I don't think they're supposed to be like you know the ones that Bandai put out. They weren't back oh, yeah. metal, but they looked really good. They're you know they're die cast, but they don't have that. You know, back metal has that sheen to them. It, it's kind of yeah. if, and if it. If you get a bad one and there's like a, a imperfection, it can flake off, and even over time, right. that's my only issue. But we don't know what they are yet. Not not nothing. And then they even the the cool thing about the uh, morpher was was that according to whatever coin you put in there, it says what that coin is. Where yeah. the one we got from uh, Bandai never did that. You know, they just sang the yeah. theme song. That's it. All right, you guys getting these? You got your Psycho Green Ranger? I'm not. Yeah. I'm, no. I'm, I'm just not Power Ranger. I yeah, I'm getting the, Psycho uh, Green. You're doing the this. Party. No, Morpher's probably the only thing I'll do. But it's going to be pretty much and, wait till I see it in hand first. Yeah, Zordon and Alpha is a Walmart exclusive. The Green and the Putties are Hasbro Pulse. And they were all up yesterday. <laughs> And the more yeah, for Walmart too. Yeah, Walmart, yeah. Walmart as well. Why are these pictures so small? Mm-hmm. That looks like plastic, man. <clears throat> well, yeah, I don't. The, I don't know. Uh, no one knows if they're <coughs> going to be as good as the stuff that Bandai put out. The stuff that Bandai put out is really nice. Yeah, I've, yeah. I've seen this. Now the stand it's on, and then the the holder that's plastic. That's, According yeah. to everything else, will be die cast. All right, this is Incendium Online. Uh, these, this is five-inch scale. So basically what they're showing me right here is the phone booth. The phone booth, it's five-inch scale. And you kind of see what the figures look like. The figures are sold separately. How much do you believe the phone booth goes for? So we'll take a look at a few pictures of here. I mean, it's a square phone booth. Looks like it got some hinges on it. Uh, it's got a phone in it. $100. Come on. 50. Mm. 50. I'll, I'll go with uh, 59 99 I was going to say 60 bucks. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, all you guys were over then. It was 40 So, oh. which I was hey. closest. Yeah. Uh, you you could have won if you went with $1, but you went 50 You were all over. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> went no one wanted to be that guy. I mean, yeah, I'll I'm go with 50 01 Alex. 
<laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> to me, it's five inch scale. A, a phone booth that the door opens. That seems forty dollars seems like a lot of money. Like, how much is the? Uh, you know, like when we got this. This doesn't even come with a figure either. So, so you're not paying for likeness. So I get that. Oh, it doesn't <laughs> come with the fit. I was thinking it came with two figures, Bill and no, Ted, the, but it doesn't. The figures are all separate. The phone booth itself. Oh, is $40. okay. Gotcha, that's why gotcha. I'm thinking like, wow, that's expensive because I'm thinking about some of the Black Series stuff that you get for $40, yeah. you know, like a speeder bike. But that also came right. with a figure, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Should come with a Rufus. Especially if people are like, what's a phone booth? But they're probably only making what 150 of these, so it makes sense. That math makes sense. <laughs> and, and, and the the five inch scale too. It's like why why are some of these companies like reaching out with like yo? Uh, we know that three and three quarter inch is popular, six inch, and you know one six scale. Hey, we'll do ten and a half inch and five inch <laughs> figures. You know, like something random, like because we want to be different. I watched this movie like last month, by the way. I haven't watched it in a while, but I'm sorry. I yeah, really, no, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it. Not long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm not a fan of Bill and Ted. I don't know if my wife had seen it or not. I can't remember, but we both, we watched it. The first one was good. And then, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll stop after the first one. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, we're going to do a, a reboot, you know, reunion, whatever. And I'm like, that, doesn't that come out like whenever, like next year, 2021? Isn't it, isn't it like their, their daughters? Oh, yeah. What is it's it, Bill and Ted's August. Retirement Adventure? I thought it was supposed to be this year, right? August. They're to probably say. the same age as I am, so I'll probably relate to it pretty well. <laughs> All right. Uh, for Dakota, you got a little uh, Goku-type guy here. SH <laughs> Figure Arts. There you go. Piccolo. Piccolo. Yeah. Green... Uh, Turban Goku guy. So with the white kid. <laughs> oh, here, here, here you Look go, Rick. At this. Rick, I expect whenever uh these come out, I expect when we do Cybercast and I look behind you, I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Just rows and rows. <laughs> wow. Why has he got blonde hair? I still haven't finished the series yet. What? Oh, I, I've been watching some uh, some other stuff uh, that I, I've been finishing up. It it can't be better than this. I mean, it, especially the last four episodes. I think I think I'm on episode three. Oh yeah, no things are when you get to the last four, you just yeah, <laughs> so good. The the Cody's already out, isn't? He? Yeah, he's been out, right? No, it's no. I I mine keeps oh, getting pushed back. I, I don't was know if other people had out. a Cody out. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a Cody from Sideshow from years okay. ago. Okay, but yeah, the other Cody, sh some people might have Cody, but mine keeps getting pushed back. And all my, yeah, the new normal push back. All the stuff, all the stuff got pushed back. Yeah, when they all charge, I, cool, man. they look yeah, they look excellent, and I want some of the troopers too. Those two yeah. look good together. Uh, they always did in the show too. All yeah. right, action figure expert, later, man. Oh, he's got a little uh, flight pack. Yeah, yeah, with the little effects on there too. So that's cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they just got to show my girl. I don't know what they're waiting for, but <laughs> I know, like, like, yo, hey, we like Rex and everything, but come on, you know what we were wanting first to look at. Yeah, they know, they know now. Maybe like two years ago when we were saying it, they were like, "There's no way we're gonna." They know now, like she, she's everywhere now. Like, I mean, we here we were like cybercast years ago like best character in star wars ahsoka uh what, what what do you think about these though uh like new packaging 
so the vintage color. look like the vintage yeah like the uh the old 12 inch you know from the late 70s and early 80s or whatever i, I had them and I, I still have this guy it does a good job with the package being uh open it doesn't have the thing that flips out i don't think yeah see yeah. they don't do the little it had a flap that that flipped out brett you you know what i'm talking about on these it doesn't have that flap that flips out, but the package itself with the flamethrower effect and the colors of the vintage 12 inch, it looks pretty good. Like I get the, I get the homage. Yeah. Am I going to buy one? Yeah, no. Yeah. Bit. yeah. I'm, I'm good with my Boba Fett that I just bought. Yeah. I love I'm the one that I have. 12 inch over there. That, that yeah. I still then, have one. I liked it. I mean, even as a kid, I liked it, but. It still we're looks all, cool in its own we're, way. We're also going to take a look at the Darth Vader as well. That one's no different than my Empire Darth Vader, is it? I mean, I it comes know, the Darth the same, Vader. It comes with the same stand and everything. I'm assuming it's the same figure, but just in this vintage anniversary yeah. style package. Right. You know, it's packaging. Should I get it? I don't know. If you don't have a, I, I don't have that, I'd get it. It's yeah. I mean, just it's Vader. Based, Sport. I mean, oh, you talk about the Vader. Oh, Vader, yeah. yeah. I don't know if there are any differences, but there's probably a video out there that kind of talks about what the differences are. If not now, then there will be soon. Well, if there's no differences in the figure, I mean, what's the price difference between this and the other one uh, just based on the uh, packaging? Yeah, because the, the Fed is I'll, I'll, toy, I'll toy colors, but I don't know if mm -hmm. they change the Vader at all. You, you know, obviously, it's worth a lot. You have to just do some research. Yeah, yeah, because both of us we had the deluxe versions on the the fat. Now see me, I would more go towards the vintage boxes if I was going for these. Just yeah, um, like just you like the toy colors, exactly. Not yeah. the movie colors, the toy stuff. Yeah. All right, so here, here's what he comes with. Yeah, he his system is much. I, I like mine better than Empire. Uh, or it's not Empire. Uh, I forget which one it is. Uh, let's see. See the the little stand and stuff that he comes with. That that's exactly what mine has. Yeah. Uh, all those lightsabers and all those fists and stuff. Exactly what mine has. The chest is the same. Yeah, because uh, Empire. Okay. Unless they made some subtle paint differences to match up with the toy, it should be the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've I've got them right here. I can grab it, and that way, I guess people watching that you can find out right now. You know if it's exactly the same or not. Yeah, because he's three hundred bucks, and I don't, you know, a little hesitant on that. Right. Yeah, you want to make sure it's what you want. I don't know what the aftermarket is on the Vaders. There's, I mean, obviously, some mobile, I think I have five Vaders right now. At least five, maybe six. Because they've, they've made subtle changes depending on what the movie is. Even the Rogue One is different. And then the other thing is the electronics are different around all the way around. Right. They've never done the exact electronics. They, they keep finding better ways to do it is what I'm saying. Yeah, so that, it looks exactly the same. Because uh, I'm looking at all the little lights and buttons and all these buttons they're exactly the same in the exact same spots uh whenever that right there exactly the same whenever you lift up in the helmet uh all the swords and stuff exactly the same all the so it's just and, packaging. yes yeah, this is this like just going to be packaging yeah. so bam we cleared it up right here <laughs> Still a good looking figure. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean he he rules the shelf for sure. Those are the exact ones that I have on them right now. Sport sport, are you considering coming down the, the one six into the club? Only for certain key figures, you know, like Vader and Luke, for example, or Yeah, that that's what I yeah. said in 2001 when I started collecting. <laughs> yeah, I just don't have exactly the real what I, I, know. I know. It's hard I, to resist. I, 
that that's what I did though, sport. Like I've got the the Vader I wanted. I wanted Empire. I got the you know deluxe ultimate Boba Fett. You know where he has like two different types of armor. I got the Kylo Ren, the Darth Maul that I wanted, and then I've got the Michael Keaton Batman from Batman Returns because I prefer that one over the uh, first one. You know, so I was like, yeah, right. I'm getting just the the key figures that I really really want. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Just just the main key fig- uh, f- characters. Like I wouldn't mind the Emperor and a Count Dooku. Like I was just kind of wanting to do like the Sith, you know, the Sith yeah. guy. And, and then plus, you know, Fett just because he's cool. So. Yeah, all, all this is exactly like the one that I just have. So cool. Yeah, so we we cleared that up. That way, if anyone was interested, that way, if there is a price difference, because I don't know if these have gone up in. <clears throat> you know, in price or anything like that. So it, if this one has gone up in price, then you can feel good about buying that one with that new window box. You might even like that new window box. It might be a seller to you. The, the If it's a price difference, just go with the cheaper one. So, yeah. And you can do payment plans too. If you go through Sideshow, you can do a payment plan. Uh, Real quick, Sport, did you want to participate in your uh, – superhero or like super ability and uh superpower and then your three abilities and why did you choose that route do it do it oh god i haven't had time to really think that through other than what i posted on chat do it yeah, i posted uh, it a week ago super strength would be my okay. superpower okay and what three abilities that that are like that exist in the world do you want to go with that that are related to super strength or three different yeah, what, whatever you want like what like what of mine was uh you know like uh i know every language like i'm bilingual i can speak any language the other one was like i'm smart like like as in like bruce wayne type smart ah mom was gas <laughs> which isn't far from the <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that's just yeah. saying <laughs> so three abilities Come on. Abilities. Okay. Well, let's see here. Um, telepathy. That's okay. not a normal. That's <laughs> not a real ability. Not normal. So it needs to be really? like a, it needs to be like a real a reality based ability. Right. Your right. superpowers. Yeah. Super oh, I got you. you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Uh, to us, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Mike, you're the Ralph Wiggum. I think you had that before. <laughs> It's okay. I don't know. I, geez, I, I would probably say that uh, uh, technologically inclined. I'm good with technology. Okay. Like, there you programming. Go. Uh, yeah. Good with um, understanding different cultures. Okay. And uh, good at math. What so, is this, a job interview? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm good at micromanaging. <laughs> there you go. Here's the best part. <laughs> Why? Why do I'm good you have all those abilities? And buying and, stocks. And combined Why? with <laughs> super strength, combined with super strength, that's a... You're like an overgrown I'm nerd. Like super strength. <laughs> I'm a buff <laughs> nerd. The wrong ones, like you super strength and, you know... I yeah, he, he's, he's like, he's like he stop right there. Yeah. Not, not like, like, yeah. Uh, he does the manual labor and he does construction, but he was like, but because I'm smart, I'm the foreman. You know. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Got let's it. go ahead and sign it out from there. Uh, Mike, where can you find you? Me, find me, you can find me everywhere as Angry Mike. You can find me on uh, Facebook as Mega Must Mega Toy Fan. Hoping to reopen everything soon. Thank God. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Shattered Glass Jazz. You can find me on Instagram as Sportivus underscore Prime, Twitter as Sportivus Prime, YouTube as Sportivus. Awesome. Or the Sportivus uh, Foreman. Yeah. All right. And you can find me, G1Xtron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1 Hexatron. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed. And don't forget to go to Amazon, look up 
Black Series <laughs> six inch, The Child or Baby Yoda, and go to their one star reviews and go read those. Uh, I promise <laughs> you, you will be thanking me on the next show. So thanks a lot. Peace. See ya. See ya.